Hi everyone, I'm back with another video on Cartoon Animator 4. This time I'm looking at their Motion Live plugin. I've never used motion capture before and I had a lot of fun testing it out and thinking of ways I could use it in the future. If you want to check it out for yourself, you can click try to get a 30 day free trial of Cartoon Animator 4 with motion capture. I'll leave links to everything down in the description if you want to check it out. So it's really simple to set up and I'm going to be using my laptop's built in webcam. Nothing fancy. All I need to do is open up the Face 3D Tracker and Cartoon Animator 4 along with the character I want to use. Making sure they're selected, I can go to plugins and select Motion Live 2D from the menu. In the left side of the tracker you can see all the stats like frame rate and resolution and it says that we're currently disconnected which I'll fix in a moment. To the right you can adjust your settings and experiment with this. The recommended resolution is 640x480 and just keep in mind that depending on your hardware, using a higher resolution will lower your frames per second. To connect the camera to the plugin all I need to do is activate the face and body by clicking these two points. You can just work on the face if you want to, but for this video I'll be using both. Next I'll select these arrows here to link them to face 3D. I made sure to keep my hair out of my face and found natural lighting helped a lot too. I also tested with glasses on but they threw off the tracking points a little so contacts might be your best bet if you need them. You also don't want a lot of harsh shadows on your face as it's going to be easier for the plugin to track if your face is lit evenly. To get a more accurate reading of the tracking points I use the zero pose just here. All I need to do is look straight into the camera with a neutral expression and click. I relax my shoulders to do the same for the body and I was ready to go. From here I can test out the character movements and expressions or even start recording. What I like the most about the Motion Live plugin is that there are a ton of options and settings that you can adjust to how you want them. With the full bodied characters you can change the position and posing of the arms, the amount of tilt or zoom the character performs and record audio and lip sync as you capture the movements of your character. Then once you're finished recording you can find it in the timeline ready for you to play back and adjust if you need to. As I said in my last video on Cartoon Animator 4, I like to do the lip sync manually since I find it's a lot more natural looking that way, and it's easy enough to change the mouth shapes in the sprite editor. The 360 head show you just how well the plugin links with the characters, and I find myself really enjoying using this bird from the content manager. In some of my tests my regular blinks didn't really show up, all the eyes would blink separately. To solve this I just had to exaggerate the movement a little more and it worked much better this way. Subtle expressions I found more difficult to get the characters to replicate, while the easiest was an angry face since it's much more exaggerated. Sometimes if your character keeps the same pose for a long time without moving or doesn't blink for a while then it can be pretty off-putting to the viewer. What I didn't expect but was pleased to find was the idle motion settings where you can make your character breathe. You can alter this from what would be a resting speed to something a bit faster as though they've been running. And if you're recording or using your character in a live stream, I can see this being a really nice addition. When I first started doing tests I found the character twitched a bit if I wasn't constantly moving. You can get rid of this by selecting smooth head and smooth body. However, while this did improve the look of my animation, there was a slight delay between my movement and the character which did throw off my timing a little. As I tested the plugin I was thinking of how I could use this in an animation. My first idea was that it would be good for speeding up my workflow in Cartoon Animator 4 and have it mirror more natural movements when lip syncing. As well as being used for live streams, it could also be used as a teaching aid to make lessons more entertaining. As a 2D frame by frame animator, exaggeration is something I use a lot in my work, particularly in expression and posing. Most of my animations are for children and young adults and I really enjoyed just how far I could push the posing, especially in the zoom in and out to change the size of the head. The way I'd use this feature the most would be for a character in a preschool show as I think making the head larger and smaller while they speak could help add humour to the shots. Overall, there's a lot to like about this plugin. It works really well with the G3 characters, it's a lot more accurate than I expected, and it's fun to experiment with. When I had difficulty with the accuracy for expressions or mouth shapes, most of the time they improved with better lighting or just exaggerating my own a little more. So thinking about the position of your camera, how you light the room, and planning out your movements could really help improve the result. If you want to learn more about Cartoon Animator 4 or the Motion Live plugin, I've put links in the description down below. Thanks again to Reillusion for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more animations and tutorials from me, and I'll be back with another one real soon. Bye!